It was a rainy day, a rainy afternoon, and uh, my mother was bringing some things back from New Jersey from my grandparents' storage room. And uh, she said in a little bit of an agitated voice, uh, look, there are these boxes. I'm not sh exactly sure what's in them. Uh, they've been sitting there for 25 years. Do you want them? I went down and started opening them up where I discovered a treasure trove of letters. And they were uh, wrapped up in little bundles with little strings, little fraying strings, and they were yellowed around the edges. I was just startled at the quantity of them. And um, I started taking off the strings and, and looking at the beautiful scripts and then started to notice some very unsettling details about them. There were Hitler stamps on them, swastikas stamped on them, and I, what I began to realize is that they were letters written back and forth between my grandmother and my grandfather over a nine-year period when he was in a uh, forced labor camp because he was Jewish and she remained in Vienna, Austria. They sustained this relationship through letters, through beautiful letters, thousands of pages in minute, minute handwriting using every tiny square centimeter of the page and sometimes written in the margins and little pictures and uh, I knew when I saw them that I needed, I had a responsibility to do something with them, to tell their story, but I didn't just want to archive them or I didn't want to donate them somewhere, I didn't want them sitting in a desk drawer. I wanted to make it art and the only way I would make this art truly authentic was to have the actual letter in the art. I began photographing them all and archiving them. Why did I decide to use these letters in artwork as opposed to simply become my own family historian? The story didn't stop when the letters were written. The story didn't stop when the boxes were opened. The story is continuing. The story is now.